India is a land of rich cultural heritage, diverse tradition, and a complex history. Do you know where do the names India and Bharat come from? The earliest records used to identify the country reveal the usage of Bharat, Bharata, or Bharat Varsha. These commonly used terms have found a place in the constitution alongside India. Bharat, a Sanskrit name for the country, comes from ancient Puranic literature and also from one of the two major epics of India, the Mahabharata, in which Indians are believed to be descendants of King Bharat, a mythical figure Hindus claim had started the Indian race. Many historians believe it dates back to early Hindu texts. The word also means India in Hindi. The name India traces its origin to the river Indus, now Sindhu, and closely related words have been used to refer to the subcontinent as a whole for many centuries, dating back to the ancient Greek historians. The English form India gained greater relevance when the country was ruled by the British from the late 18th century onwards and was prominently used in historical maps. After gaining freedom, the country's new leaders did not do away with the usage but incorporated it in official documents. But did you know that even its name has been a subject of dispute and controversy? The controversy has gripped India after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government referred to the country as Bharat on official invitation, leaving many wondering whether the name will be changed and dinner invitation sent on Tuesday to guests attending this week's group of 20 summit that is G20, Draupadi Murmu is referred to as President of Bharat instead of the usual President of India. On the same day, a tweet by a senior spokesman of the ruling Bharti Janata Party said Modi was attending a summit of the Association of South East Asian Nations in Indonesia as the Prime Minister of Bharat. In its constitution, the world's most populous country is known as India or Bharat. Hindustan is another word for the country. The three names are used interchangeably both officially and by the public. Are you wondering why Bharat's name has caused controversy? Since the G20 invitations were delivered, government critics have accused Modi's government and his Hindu nationalist BJP of planning to change the name to only Bharat. The name is a Sanskrit term found in scriptures written about 2000 years ago. It refers to an ambiguous territory, Bharat Varsha, which stretched beyond today's borders of India and may have extended to include what is today Indonesia. The BJP has already renamed cities and places that were linked to the Mughal and colonial period. Last year, for instance, the Mughal garden at the presidential palace in New Delhi was renamed Amrit Udyan. Critics said the new names are an attempt to erase the Mughals who were Muslims and ruled the subcontinent for almost 300 years from Indian history. For Roop Rekha Verma, Professor of Philosophy and former Vice Chancellor of Lucknow University in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh, the controversy is rooted in the intolerance shown by Modi's government. The opposition has warned the BJP doing away with the name India. While there is no constitutional objection to calling India Bharat, which is one of the country's two official names, I hope the government will not be so foolish as to completely dispense with India, which has incalculable brand value built up centuries. Shashi Tharoor, a lawmaker for the Indian National Congress Party, posted on X, the site formerly known as Twitter. We should continue to use both words rather than relinquish our claim to a name redolent of history, a name that is recognized around the world, he added. Now, if we think about what happens next, the Indian government has called a special parliamentary session for September 18 to 22, but has not announced any agenda, leading to speculation that it will be used to rename the country. However, some government officials, such as Information Minister Anurag Thakur, have dismissed the idea as rumours spread by the opposition. Political and electoral concerns are a key factor in the India-Bharat issue. According to Rashid Kidwai, 
a visiting fellow at the New Delhi based Observer Research Foundation think tank. Kidwai believes the ramped up rhetoric proves Modi is feeling the heat from the opposition. It demonstrates the BJP's trepidation, he said. The party has been claiming that Modi is indispensable. But for the first time, he's feeling that the threat from the opposition bloc is real, which is why his party has planned to change the country's name to Bharat. Calls for the name change have occasionally been made for several years now. But the conversation around the topic has exploded after photos widely shared across social media showed an official invite for India's G20 summit asking foreign dignitaries to join the President of Bharat for dinner, with no mention of India on the card.